Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I posted, letting you know, that last week's Patch Tuesday update that rolled out for Windows 11, which was KB5033375, and also the optional bug fix update, 5032288, that rolled out near the end of November, beginning of December, those updates were apparent to be causing problems when trying to connect to Wi-Fi access points for some users. And as I mentioned in the video, which will be down below in the description, the bug was mainly and is mainly affecting universities and businesses. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft now over on their known issues health dashboard page has now officially confirmed this as an actual problem um, from Microsoft's side where they have received reports of an issue in which some Wi-Fi adapters might not connect to some networks after installing the two updates I've just mentioned. And Microsoft says, as reported, you are more likely to be affected by this issue if you are attempting to connect to an enterprise, education or public Wi-Fi network using the 802.1x authentication, as I mentioned yesterday. And they also mentioned that this issue is not likely to occur on home networks. Now, if you were experiencing this problem and you were trying to connect to an enterprise, education or public Wi-Fi network using that authentication, Microsoft has actually now resolved this issue. And once again, they've used a known issue rollback, KRR for short. And a known issue rollback is nothing you have to do from your side. It's not an update you have to download and install. It's something Microsoft takes care of from their side. And a brief definition of a known issue rollback, in case you're unaware, is it's an important Windows servicing improvement to support non-security bug fixes, enabling us to quickly, this is from the Microsoft support page, enabling us to quickly revert a single targeted fix to a previously released behavior if a critical regression is discovered. So that's the official definition from that Microsoft support page. And what I always do suggest with a known issue rollback is um, because it can take up to 24 hours to propagate and to become effective, what I do suggest to kind of quicken up and hurry up the process if you have been affected is just to restart your machine. Don't shut your machine down, restart your machine, and that should hurry up and obviously quicken the process and enable that known issue rollback a lot faster. And as mentioned, this was affecting Windows 11, and according to Microsoft now, this issue has been resolved on the 19th of December 2023. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.